Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some affordable Korean and Japanese skincare that actually delivers. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel it all. So I do think that I generally do review somewhat affordable skincare on my channel. Like I don't really review luxury skincare brands and such as of yet. But I do understand that affordable can mean different things to each person. So I have collected a number of Japanese and Korean skincare products that have been tried and tested by yours truly that sell for 20 or less US dollars. Now everything is $20 or under US dollars at full price because we all know that skincare often goes on sale so this is their price before any sales before any promotions before any discount they are all $20 or under so some of these things if you find it on sale easily under $10 so they are really affordable products that I feel like can definitely deliver the money's worth that you spend on them if the brand did have an official site in US dollars I just took their recommended retail price from their official site and if not I did cross reference between three different sites Amazon US um, yes style and style Vana, just because they pretty much stock everything to make sure that it is $20 or under at full price so in no particular order let's get started so first I do have cleansers and the number one cleanser that of course came to mind was the Revectin skin essentials conditioning cleanser this one's recommended retail price is 17 US dollars for 175 mils off of their official site I have talked about this cleanser too many times. It is my holy grail. If I could only use one cleanser for the rest of my life cleanser, it is very simple, but it does the job. It foams up a comfortable amount, so it's great user experience and does not overly strip your skin. This is one that I can recommend to all skin types, even sensitive skin, and it is alcohol, fragrance, and essential oil free. The next one, I actually don't have the physical product with me, but it is the Hadarabo Kokujin Hyaluronic Acid Foaming Cleanser. This one sells for usually between nine to 15 US dollars for 160 mils. So it does look like they recently renewed the packaging from the old one, this is the one that I had always used, to this. I mean they renewed like all of their lotions and stuff so I think they're just doing like a full rebrand. Honestly I think it looks pretty nice. I will double check if the ingredients are the exact same and whatnot. I assume it would be pretty similar because they did keep the um, formulations of the toners and stuff pretty similar as well. This one is a really nice, super quick and easy self-foaming cleanser, especially in the mornings when you don't have time to kind of sit there and foam up your cleanser. Um, I would say the foam is really nice and dense and fluffy, but is not overly stripping to the skin. I know some people have asked me that they have found Japanese cleansers to be stripping. This is definitely not one of them. It is really gentle, really simple once again, and it does use kind of Hadalabo's signature hyaluronic acid complex. I think it has three weights in this cleanser. Another one that I can recommend for all skin types and again is free from alcohol, fragrance and essential oils. Moving on to moisturizer, I've actually chosen one for each skin type so you are welcome. First things first, we have the Revectin Lotus Water Cream. This one sells for 20 US dollars for 60 mils on their official site. Are we surprised? No, we are not. I am a Rovectin ambassador. I'm not like officially an ambassador, like the brand didn't select me to be an ambassador. I'm just like a self-proclaimed ambassador of Rovectin because I do love so many of their products. And this one is one that can be used by all skin types, but I would mostly recommend it for normal to combo skin. This one does contain 75% of lotus water, which is supposed to be um, self-purifying and then also has other natural moisturizing factors as well. This one is a household stable at my place. I love it, Logan loves it, and pretty much anyone I have recommended it to loves it. It is a medium lotion texture that sinks in really easily to the skin without feeling heavy or tacky, and once again is alcohol fragrance and essential oil free. Next I do have the iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream. This one sells for a recommended retail price of $15.99 US dollars for 60 mils on their official site. I'm kind of matching this one today with my green. Did you notice I actually put like a green underneath my eyes today. 
I kind of love it. This one is for you oily skinned beauties out there. A beautiful light gel cream texture that is super light and refreshing on the skin. It does even have a slight cooling feeling when you first apply it, which is really, really nice on hot summer days or if you do have overly oily skin. This one does contain 72% of Centella Asiatica leaf water to calm and soothe your skin, as well as 10% of tea tree leaf water, which is also calming, but has those kind of acne fighting preventing properties as well. So one that is also great for acne prone skin. This one is alcohol free, although it does contain bergamot fruit oil, but honestly, it smells so good. Like, it smells like icy poles or fruit candy or something. I, I just love the smell of it. If you do have oily skin, you have to give this one a go. And lastly, for my fellow dry skinned legends out there, I do have the Iliune Ceramide Atto Concentrate Cream. This one sells for about 17 to 20 US dollars for 200 mils. This one is a true bang for buck. It has the volume of more than three times of the other moisturizers. It has 200 mils. That is a lot. This one is a true nourishing and barrier protecting moisturizer. It is packed with ceramides and other ingredients that really do kind of build that moisture barrier, kind of nurse your skin back to health. And it is specifically made for sensitive skin as well, so it can be used by pretty much anyone. It does have a thick, rich texture that I do feel like works better when I warm it up in my hands before patting it in. It is truly a savior for dry skin and can be used on the body as well. I do love using it on my elbows and knees and feet where it gets extra dry. Once again, it is alcohol fragrance and essential oil free. Next, I am moving on to toners. Any guesses of which one I'm going to mention? To guess which one, pause your video now. And let's see if you got it right. <laughs> Yes, it is the Hadarabha Lotions, their hydrating toners. These ones sell for between 14 to 20 US dollars, depending on the type, for 170 mils. You knew it was coming, so I am talking about the Hadarabha Lotions as a whole, not a specific one. I am not going to go into depth of the different types because I have already done that. Make sure you do um, check out my Hadarabha Lotions guide video because I really did do a deep dive and you can see which one um, works best for your skin type. If you want a simple hyaluronic acid based toner, you seriously cannot go wrong with these. To be honest, there are other Japanese toners that are very affordable and very effective. It's just that they are so hard to get outside of Japan. But Hadarabal is available essentially anywhere, like online as well as internationally, and that is why I keep recommending them. They can also double as a serum, like if you choose the Gokujin Premium one, this one is a thick, super hydrating texture. I mean, it even says it on the packaging, like hydration at the level of a serum. So this one doubles as like a hyaluronic acid serum and look how big this is for under $20. Like you, you just can't go wrong. Like what's the point of spending like more than $20 on a small bottle of hyaluronic acid serum when you can just get this and it'll last you a thousand times longer. And these are all alcohol fragrance and essential oil free too. I do have another Japanese toner and I know a lot of you guys love it already. It is the Naturia Hatamugi Skin Conditioner. This one sells for approximately $14 to $15 for 500 mils of product. So Yes Style does sell this one for over $20, so I'm sorry I broke that rule ever so slightly, but it is 500 mils, half a litre, so you are getting your money's worth 100%. In Japan, it costs a measly 650 yen, like 650 yen. It, when I saw it in the store, I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, it's bland, it's probably just a cheap whatever toner. But the reason why I picked it up was because my Japanese grandma, who is 88, turning 89 next year, but she was using it. And honestly, her skin, like obviously she has those genetics, but her skin looks amazing for her age. And that is why I picked this up and I have never looked back. This toner is meant to be used generously. That is why it is in such a big bottle. The effects are seen the more you layer it and on the bottle it actually does say 
to apply multiple layers and until your skin feels fully hydrated and kind of starts to feel a little bit cool that is when you know that your skin is fully hydrated with the multiple layers you can also use it as a diy sheet mask soak in those thin cotton pads and leave it on for a couple minutes it will penetrate further into your skin and it helps to kind of smooth out and flatten out those pores in your cheek area as well you can also put it in a spray bottle and use it on the body because it is a beautifully light texture that won't feel sticky so yes of course even if you do have oily and acne prone skin you can use it the main ingredient is hatomugi that is in the title it is also known as coik seed or jobs tears and it is an ingredient that is often used in japanese skincare to condition your skin meaning to prevent breakouts and such but in a really gentle way it does have pretty minimal ingredients and is fragrance free although it does contain some alcohol next we are moving on to sunscreens and the first one i have is the beauty of joson relief sun rice plus pro by Odex. this one sells for a recommended retail price of 18 us dollars for 50 mils on their official site i will say that this is one of my best spf discoveries of this year and it really did take the world by storm it is a spf 50 plus PA4 plus sunscreen and it is a chemical sunscreen. A lot of people love it including myself but I know some people didn't like it and the people who didn't like it said that with overtime use they experienced some kind of texture or bumps on their skin or felt like there was a slight white cast. Now I definitely haven't had this experience whatsoever but I did also have a friend who said that they get this reaction when there is rice ingredient in their products so that might be why maybe rice just doesn't agree with your skin if you did experience this as I've said multiple times in the past rice is one of my favorite skincare ingredients so it definitely hasn't had an issue with me and I just love the light but hydrating and easily blendable texture like I could layer this multiple times no issues and yeah definitely a sunscreen that I would reach for every day this one is also alcohol fragrance and essential oil free next I have an absolute classic it is the Bior a UV aqua rich watery essence this one sells between 14 to 17 US dollars for 50 mils of product if you have not heard of this product like where have you been have you been living under a rock because it is literally the best selling most well-known Japanese sunscreen globery globery I am pretty sure this one is also SPF 50 plus with PA4 pluses and is a chemical sunscreen this one does have an ultra light texture that essentially feels almost like water and has absolutely no white cast. I know people who have oily or combo skin that love it because of that light texture although some people have said that the alcohol can be slightly drying on the skin with overtime use so if you do have dry skin or are sensitive to alcohol be aware of that because this does contain it and it also does contain fragrance too. It's one that you just have to try at some point in your life. If you do want a full in-depth review I did also do a dedicated video on the Biore Aqua Rich Light so make sure you check that one out too. The last sunscreen I have, another one that I've mentioned a bunch of times, is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. This one sells for usually 12 to 15 US dollars for 40 mils of product. One of my favorite Japanese SPFs that are alcohol and fragrance free. This one is also SPF 50 plus with PA4 plus and is a hybrid sunscreen. Actually somewhat recently uploaded a dedicated video on this as well as the other two types in the range. I highly recommend to just stick with the clear version which is the number one which has this slight pink label to it. This one is the kind of most transparent one out of the three. This one does have a slightly thicker texture compared to the Biore and is a little bit more hydrating it has a nice kind of subtle dewy finish initially that dries down to a natural finish it also has this subtle almost shimmer I guess you could say that makes your skin glow and look beautiful which I personally love but I know not everybody does so that's something to keep in mind it is alcohol fragrance and essential oil free and it is kind of a small but mighty SPF now we do have serums which I feel like it is definitely a little bit harder to find serums that are good for under $20 but these are the two that I definitely want to recommend. First is the Tiam Vita B3 Source. It sells for a recommended retail price of $18 US dollars for 40 mils on the official site. Everybody loves niacinamide. It has so many benefits like evening out skin tone, brightening your skin, um, fights acne, helps the appearance of pores, fine lines and wrinkles, helps regulate oil and so on. So it is definitely an ingredient that has rose 
to the top in the last few years of skincare. But it can be hard to find a affordable niacinamide serum that also has a elegant texture. Ta-da! The TM1 has a slightly viscous but light texture that glides on the skin, sinks in without feeling sticky. It is also a fairly generous 40 mils. I feel like serums go from 30 to 50 mils, so definitely not bad of a size. And I have seen it as cheap as $9 for 40 mils of a 10% niacinamide serum. And not only that, it actually also includes 2% of arabutin, which is also another ingredient that is amazing to brighten scars and even out skin tone. This one is also alcohol fragrance and essential oil free. The Lotto Merano CC Essence. These ones sell for between 15 to 18 US dollars for 20 mils of product. Yes, it may seem small, but honestly, it lasts forever. The brand even says it lasts like, I think five to six months with using five to six, oh, maybe I'm tripping, five to six drops in three to four months. Anyway, it does last more than a season for a 20 mil tube. And because of the packaging, how it is pretty airtight and opaque, it seriously does not oxidize. It's probably the most cheapest effective vitamin C serum that I have ever used. I usually put a few drops in my palms to apply all over the face. And then on targeted areas where I have more scars, I apply kind of more a concentrated amount and it works. The texture could definitely be a little better since it does have a slightly oily feeling, but you just can't beat it for the price. This one is alcohol free, but it does contain some fragrance. Personally, I love the fragrance. It's like a sweet citrus smell. The last product I have is a spot treatment and it is the Lion Pear Acne Cream. This one sells between 10 to 15 US dollars and actually comes in two sizes, 14 grams and 24 grams. I'm gonna open my back up because I am almost done with this one and I actually bought a bigger size for the back up and I've never had a bigger size, so I'm slightly, whoa, I'm excited. Look, it's big. So Amazon US did only have one option and it was $30, but it was $30 for two of the bigger size, essentially $15 each. So I felt like it was still under that $20 mark. And it has been my holy grail spot treatment for so long now. It is supposed to target adult acne or hormonal acne, at least in the marketing. That's what they say. And the two active ingredients are ibuprofen picanol and isopropyl methifenol. And they are antibacterial and anti-inflammatory ingredients that basically prevent breakouts, but also treat active ones as well. Two things I absolutely love about this product that I can't seem to find in other spot treatments. One is that it is super gentle. I can use it morning and night every single day and it does not irritate my skin. It does not dry out my skin, which a lot of other spot treatments tend to do. Two is its elegant texture. It is a light lotion-like texture, basically just like a light moisturizer that blends in so easily, no pilling, no nothing, that I can easily wear it under makeup as well. I take a small amount on my finger and apply it in between my serum and moisturizer since I do want to seal it in with my moisturizer. And I do use it on active pimples as well as a preventative measure on areas where I break out. Pretty much the only place I break out these days is my chin. So even though I don't have any active breakouts at the moment, especially when it's before my period where I know I'm gonna break out, I do apply this every pretty much morning and night to make sure I don't get any new ones. And I seriously feel like it has been helping so much. It is not the strongest acne killing pimple cream out there. So if you do have really big cystic acne, it might not be the one, but if you do suffer from like breakouts here and there, hormonal breakouts, I definitely think it is one you should give a go. And it is, again, it's just so affordable. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed my affordable um, Japanese and Korean skincare picks that seriously deliver. If you have been here a while, you've probably heard me talk about pretty much all of these products like a billion times. But for those of you who are beginners to skincare or even just want a kind of affordable option in your routine, I hope some Thing in here spoke to you and you can try it out. If you do want to continue to support me by watching another video, I've selected these two for you guys. I feel like you would absolutely enjoy it. So make sure you click another one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah.